Hey y'all, hey y'all, hey y'all. Okay. What is good? What is poppin'? Yeah. It is your girl Nasla back with another vlog. So we are on our third attempt today, y'all. We are on our third attempt on trying to find some school shirts for Zayden. Literally, all I'm looking for, y'all, is um a colored white shirt. That's literally it. That's literally it. That's all I need. But no stores have them. I did go more so like on the black side. So now I'm on the white side. So we gonna hope and pray that this Target has some. If they do not, then we'll go to the mall and then go to Old Navy. And most likely they should have some school shirts. You ready to start school? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> He's seen his classroom, y'all. We went to go see his classroom the other day. He loved it. I loved it. So, really excited. Today is Saturday. I'm now working. So, that's why we're really just trying to tackle this shit down. Trying to get everything in order. So, let's go. I do not. We just took our picture. I just came across these. But they don't have this. <laughs> Are you serious? They don't have a size, y'all. They literally only have two in his size. Mucky bye, mucky bye, mucky 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 bye. Oh, 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 oh. I really like this song color. I really don't want to wear it. Blue on blue. Blue on blue is crazy. I feel white on blue. It would be boring. That's boring. But also, yep. to switch it up though. Too bad though? I don't like blue. Bye bye. We'll just do two extra smalls and a small. Bye bye. Two extra smalls. I'm so happy that Target came through, y'all. Target came through, got my baby some shirts. Now I'm at the dollar store because I need to get me some tampons. Open your car door, please. So I can lock it. They said what they did not. Where he at, though? I'm right here, Mom. Okay. Woo! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> you think that she's out and put him in her closet? Yes. My, my man said, bring me my shit back. No. How you know I was talking to my friend? Oh, you did. Hey, y'all. So, me and my baby were at happy hour with the man's. What they say, where they at? Yeah, they was wondering where you was at. <laughs> we chilling, we eating. My man was telling me how his dad doesn't believe in karma. He was saying if you believe in God, then what the fuck you should worry about karma for? But I just, mm, I feel like about that. I feel like if you know how God works, you cannot do something that you're not supposed to do it and think that God is going to continue to bless you in a certain aspect. Like, there's going to be something where you're going to, it's going to happen. You're going to be like, damn, like, this is because I did this. And it can happen weeks, months, to a year later. You know what I'm saying? So, and that's to do with my experience. So, that's just how I feel. Oh, you feel different? That's not the first time I heard that if you believe in God, you shouldn't believe in karma, but 
Maybe karma's not the right word for it. So it's a little later. It's some days later, maybe like a day and a half or two. I don't even remember the last. I took a vlog yesterday. So it's a day later, a little later. My son just got back from seeing his dad. His dad had drove uh, Saturday night, got here this morning. Well, got here last night, but picked my son up this morning. So they spent the day together. He took him to get his first edge up. So he looks like a big ass boy now. So I'm about to put him in the bathtub so I can wash his hair. Come here, come show the friends your hair. So I can braid his hair and get him ready for school tomorrow. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. He's like a big boy, y'all. No better than your girl again. We be in the store and sometimes we be like, oh my gosh, she is so adorable. I don't know why I think he's a girl. But I don't know. But I'm about to put him in a bathtub. And then after I do his hair, we're going to go to the store so I can get some stuff to make some dinner. And then hopefully he could be in the bed by 8 o'clock because school starts at 9.30. So we need to be at school by 9.15, 9.20. I'm so excited for my baby's birthday at school, y'all. Y'all don't even know. If you're, if you're a young mama like me, y'all, and your kid is starting school, congratulations to you. We on this journey together, okay? We on this journey together. And I bought this tripod and here I am still holding my phone. You get my baby's pajamas. Well, really, should I get, put him in pajamas since we gotta go to the store? I probably shouldn't. I probably shouldn't. All right, y'all, we better put the do-rag on. Y'all yeah. see the hair? I know. Yes, yeah, sir. Gonna stay here for school tomorrow. Are you excited, handsome? Uh, yeah. You should be. Uh, we need. You should be excited. So let me put this up here so y'all can see me real quick. Cool, guys. Look. Oh, hold on. Brush your teeth and go to sleep. Say okay. goodnight, y'all. Good night. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, y'all. So it is the first day of school. We are currently putting Zay's pants on. They teach him how to take them on and off, for so Look. he don't pee himself at school. Those are my belt. So we still pretty good. Try to take them on easy. For the pants, the slacks were like a you know hook. Good job, I'm gonna go mm -hmm. Pull this one. Pull, 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 pull. Pull, 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 and there you go. Good job. I'm gonna take my shirt off. Okay, don't take your shirt off, that's cool. So remember, Zane, you gotta listen to the teacher. Like, you listen to me, okay? The teacher says stop talking, that means stop talking. If the teacher says stop running, stop running. If the teacher says stop playing, that means stop playing. If the teacher says sit down, that means sit down. You have to listen to if you don't listen. If you don't listen, you're going to get in trouble when you get home, okay? Do you know? I got pressure. Do you know? Yes, yes, yes. yes. And if the teacher says something and the other kids don't do it, that doesn't mean you do it, you don't do it too. You better listen. You let the other kids be bad and not listen. But you, you listen. So you be good. Okay? Okay? Say yes. Look, that looks like Harry Potter. <laughs> no, you don't make that point. That's the game. He looks so handsome, y'all. Look at She's licking me. Looks so handsome. I'm not a grown man. I'm a grown woman. You grown? I'm a grown woman. You a little man? Huh? So I'm a grown woman, and you're a little man. I'm a grown man. Don't worry, y'all. 
said shut up, like as in. Shut up, you don't need no way to the store you need to get my baby some snacks hey y'all hey y'all so we're at work i'm about to get my makeup started it is monday obviously it's monday because my son just started school he started school on not a monday but my son had a wonderful day at school y'all he loved it he loved it my baby didn't even cry when it was time to leave me like my baby was waving goodbye to me but um he enjoyed it a lot came back clean hair was kept up teacher said that he was amazing so that's really good like that's really good it makes me feel really good so my baby will be back at it tomorrow as soon as we got home from school i instantly started cooking my spaghetti i didn't end up cooking the spaghetti yesterday because my mom my sister ended up bringing uh lasagna home from my mom's house so there was no need to cook that last night so I made it today. I didn't have time to eat it at work, so I didn't bring it here. I mean, I didn't have time to eat it at home, so I didn't bring it here. I haven't worked on Monday in, in a while, in at least two weeks, so hopefully it goes well. And hopefully this shit goes well. I have not ate all day, so I'm honestly starving i'm just trying to hurry up and get ready so they don't try to tell me i can't work because the new rule is to be on the floor dressed and ready by 9 30 instead of being here by 9 30 or 6 30 10 30 whatever time you're supposed to be here so i'm just gonna get my makeup done and get out there stretch show that i'm ready and then come back here and eat my food Y'all, I'm so ready to go. I'm ready to go. I probably made like $30 on stage. I had to give 12 of it away. I'm just ready to go. When I'm done dancing, when I retire, y'all, I'm going to miss this place. Like, I'm honestly going to miss it. The last time I stopped dancing, I missed it and I came back. Not only did I just miss it, I honestly came back because I was impatient on waiting for like my checks to start rolling. And you know when you start a job that they pay you every two weeks? It, like your first check or two be like weird until like it gets, you know, on the floor or whatever the case may be. Like it's on track. I was too impatient to thug it out because I'm used to getting paid every day. But I just know once I miss it, I just have to remind myself. For one, this time when I leave the club, I can't come back because for one, my man doesn't want me to come back. Two, I'm leaving the club for my son because it's just out of our routine. It's out of our routine. Yeah, I have people, my mom and my sister, that I can watch my son while I work at nighttime, but that results in me having to go pick him up when I get off work. And I can't be doing that during the week when my baby got school. So that is my absolute main reason on why i can't go back and for the ones that are like i would never let no man stop me from dancing woo -woo 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 -woo. but this is my man this is my relationship and i respect my man you know what i'm saying he came into the relationship already knowing i'm a dancer and he respects that he's not stopping me from dancing now he just wants me to get a better career so that i can stop dancing but once i'm done dancing he don't want me dancing he don't want me touching no other pole because it's the same man that i can come to for absolutely anything most of the time i don't because i'm i've been an independent woman for so long to the point it's hard for me to ask somebody for help so but 
I can literally go to this man and ask this man for anything and he'd give it to me and he'd deliver it. You know what I'm saying? I can get myself into a shithole and he'd help me get out of it. He'll be a little disappointed that I got myself into the shithole, but he's that type of man to get me out of it. And he's shown it plenty of times. And I know when we move together, I don't even really have to work granted I will work, but I don't even have to work. And if I work, I don't got to pay no bills. So I respect my relationship. I respect my man's wishes. So it's like, as long as I get a job that is like this or better than this, then I will be leaving the club. Until then, I will not be leaving the club. But we'll see, y'all. I just know this club shit, y'all. I don't know. But I keep saying it. I hope y'all stay with me. I'll be posting other vlogs without me being at work and with just me, my son, or whatever the fuck. And those videos don't have as much views as these ones do. So I just hope y'all stick with your girl. Stick with your girl. Because even though I'm not going to be dancing, my life is about to get so good and so interesting real soon, y'all. <laughs>